Number 10. The Gravity Max is a tilt coaster based in Taiwan, and if you want to give it a ride, you might want to bring a spare pair of underwear along with you. Most coasters start from a stationary position and are then lifted up a slope by a chain lift. So what that means is you pretty much know what you're getting up to and have time to prepare yourself for the eventual drop. Things are a little bit different with the Gravity Max though. The platform you end up on basically tilts forward until it angles the coaster and its occupants at a 90 degree angle before dropping the coaster into a free fall down a long tunnel in a single loop and a couple of bank turns. So the coaster itself isn't really that impressive. The only super scary moment is at tilt at the start, which is pretty damn terrifying either way. Alrighty, we're doing this. We're here on Gravity Max at Leap House. Number nine. The Wicked Twister is a dangling coaster, which means that you're sitting in a chair with your legs dangling freely beneath you instead of being in a completely enclosed coaster car. So not only is the Wicked Twister a dangler, it's supposedly the tallest and fastest dangling coaster in the world. It's not long like some of the coasters we've got on this list, but it is pretty terrifying. Powered by electromagnetics that send pulses of energy into the coaster, it flings riders up a long twisting spike, which then allows them to fall back down again and then go back up a second spike backwards. So yeah, expect to pee your pants. All of a sudden it's just like boom and you're just off. You go up and you're like, whoa, what just happened? What just happened is linear induction. A long chain of electromagnets laid along the track fire energy in rapid succession, pulling and pushing the coaster down the rails, quickly building speed with every push-pull combination. Number eight. The Ultra Twister is a coaster from Spa Land in Nagashima, Japan, and if you ride it, be prepared to get dizzy. This coaster goes backwards and forwards through a chain of never-ending spins. The ride moves at a total of 44 miles per hour and only lasts around a minute and 20 seconds. But in that time, riders are flung through three complete inversions, two of which are experienced backwards after a 90 degree vertical climb and an 86 degree drop. So to put that into basic terms, you're gonna get really dizzy really quickly. Number seven. The Slingshot is another Cedar Point ride. Opened in 2014, the Slingshot is less coaster and more, well, a gigantic slingshot. Two riders are tied into a chair that has two elastic cables attached to it. And those elastic cables are actually attached to 72 meter tall spikes. When the riders are properly strapped in the capsule, it's launched up to 110 meters in the air at around 62 miles an hour. And you basically bounce up and down until it comes to a stop. This ride is literally two pieces of string attached to two really tall towers and a ball for people to sit in. And it's pretty freaking sweet. Now if you didn't know, I absolutely hate any sort of ride, whether it be a roller coaster or just a slingshot thing like what we have here. All of you are absolutely insane for wanting to go on roller coasters. It's like you're asking for death. Let me know in the comments if you like to ride on roller coasters or if you hate them like me. I mean, they are so terrifying. Who'd want to go on one? Number six. The Stratosphere Hotel in Las Vegas is home to one of the scariest rides in existence. It opened up in 2005 and sits at 270 meters above the pavement. I mean, riders are literally dangled out in the open stratosphere above the freaking pavement off the side of a building and then spun around. What's crazy is that in 2005, a group were left dangling for nearly an hour and a half while the ride had a fall. Imagine that, just hanging in there above Las Vegas waiting for the ride to get fixed. I mean, I guess at least the view would be nice. <laughs> Oh, damn, yeah. 
Number 5 Galactica at Alton Towers in the UK was originally another ride called Air. Now, Air was nothing really special. It was a fling coaster that had two inversions and traveled at the pretty slow speed of 47 miles per hour. And this ride is no different in terms of those specs. What changed was the addition of virtual reality. Everyone's been raving about how VR would revolutionize gaming, when in truth one of the best uses for the headsets has been on Galactica. Riders are transported through space itself via a Samsung Gear VR headset passing by sites such as Jupiter and the Coupier Belt. That's so freaking awesome, man. Number 4 So I guess roller coasters itself aren't scary enough. They had to add in the whole serial killer aspect to it just to make it that much worse. The Saw ride can be found at Thorpe Park in the UK and is actually one of the coolest rides I've seen for a while. From the incredibly well-themed waiting line that leads up to the ride all the way to the theming of the ride itself, Saw the ride just screams cool. Riders start off going through a dark tunnel filled with a couple of dips and plenty of props before being forced through a slow inversion leading up to a chain link hill. Before you start going up that, Jigsaw has a message for you. Game over. Riders then go through a steep drop underneath some saw blades, a couple of blank turns, and another inversion. It's actually pretty damn cool. Number 3 Oblivion is another classic UK ride at Alton Towers. It's not as long or amazing as some of the other rides on our list, but that doesn't make it any less cool. Riders start by going up a chain lift before being treated to a lovely view of the park. And that experience is kinda ruined when you dip down at high speeds before a dark and dingy tunnel and coming out a bank turn. And that's the entire ride! Unfortunately, sometimes things go a little bit wrong. The clip we have shows the seatbelts on one of the rides coming loose and falling straight out. So yeah, I guess that adds an extra layer of fear to the whole ride. Number 2 The Meters Alpine Coaster is part of a rare breed of roller coaster. It's a type of coaster that literally runs down the side of a mountain. The track is 2800 meters long and runs down the mountain and through the forest and the Alps. What's really cool is you're actually able to control your own speed up to 25 miles an hour. Now that doesn't sound very fast, but when you're on a solo coaster car that has barely any protection on either side, it's gonna feel pretty speedy. The guy in the video we're showing doesn't activate the brakes on any of the drops or the corners, so he builds right up to the full speed of the coaster, which I'm pretty sure he regrets more than once. I'm sitting here wondering if anyone's died on this thing, like I'm sure someone had to. Number 1 King Ka is a steel accelerator coaster that's based at Six Flags Great Adventure in New Jersey. It's the tallest roller coaster in the world, and the second fastest coaster traveling at 128 miles an hour. I think the scariest thing about King Ka is that the train may experience what is known as a rollback. So rollbacks are when the car of a coaster quite literally rolls backwards off of a point instead of forwards. 
Now to be very clear, the ride does have magnetic brakes to stop it from going all the way back to the station and causing some kind of collision. And that's really the fear factor of this ride. Not only are you traveling at over 100 miles an hour, there's no way that you can know whether you're gonna make it all the way over the hill or back down the way you came. 